What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great week so far. All right, guys, we're going back to Apollo 10. Now, this photo, you're going to love this because this is almost like blatant right in your face kind of thing, right? So, you know, we're going to check that out a little further and a little information about the Apollo 10. Let's get started on this. All right, not many people know about how many Apollo missions are actually worse. It's the Apollo program from 1963 to 1972. Now, you can see right here the Apollo program was designed to land humans on the moon and bring them safely back to Earth. Six of the missions, Apollos 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17, achieved this goal. Apollos 7 and 9 were Earth-orbiting missions to test the command and lunar modules and did not return lunar data. Apollos 8 and 10 tested various components while orbiting the moon and returned photography of the lunar surface. Apollo 13 did not land on the moon due to a malfunction, but also returned photographs. The six missions that landed on the moon returned a wealth of scientific data and almost 400 kilograms of lunar samples. Experiments included soil mechanics, meteoroids, seismic, heat flow, lunar ranging, magnetic fields, and solar wind experiments. Now, you can see right here on the left-hand side, it goes all the way through all of the missions pretty much. You can see this ones that actually had crewed missions, the ones that landed on the moon, so on and so forth. You guys will get that page, okay? All right, now let's check this photo because this is cool, right? This is the photo you're going to be seeing, okay? And this is thanks to both uh, Ken Johnston Sr. for having these photos as well as Brett Colin Shepard for actually uploading them. Let me show you the site you can get it from right here. And you can see it right here, archive.com. Now, all of the photos are here as well as all pretty much all of the Apollo missions, right? Apollo Mission Slides by Ken Johnston Sr. Collection. And you can see right here, original slides from Ken Johnston Sr. Apollo Archive Collection, rescanned by Brett Colin Shepard. Please give credit and courtesy to Ken Johnston Sr. for saving these early versions of amazing space images from the Apollo years for the public. And visit www.kenjohnstonmedia.com. Now, I tried going on the site, but the problem with it is, is that I don't know if this site's changed a little bit since then, but the problem with it is it wanted me to change my browser uh, to a different one. So I, I didn't click on it and didn't go any further. And it says, uh, for more information on ebooks about his incredible human experience working at NASA. Now, you guys can go to my homepage on MarsAnomalies.com and just type in Ken Johnston because I got one video that says Ken Johnston sets the record straight. That was due to James Oberg, who gave him nothing but a bunch of crap through his life and pretty much uh, almost ended his life at some point uh, because of what went on in another country, in India, uh, for example, and just crazy stuff. But you can, you can, uh, I believe I have two or three with him because I have Brett Colin Shepard as well as him on, the, on there, I believe, twice. Uh, so you can check that out as well. Just type it in the search box on my homepage and it'll bring it up for you. But I can't say it enough, no, nothing but great respect for both of these gentlemen for doing this because it's not just me looking these over. There's a lot of people actually, you know, uh, going over these photos as well. So it's just awesome that these both of these gentlemen have done this. Because First of all, NASA had five copies of these, right? Now, keep in mind, he was supposed to get rid of all five. They told him, take them all, just toss them in the dumpster. He's like, really? So could we like save a couple, bring them to a, you know, maybe a university? And they said, no, just, you know, and then he just went, you know what, just do whatever, just get rid of them. He took it as a loophole to take a couple of copies of himself. So he threw the three away and kept two. One went to the university, which strangely enough disappeared, right? And then he's got the other copy. Now, I believe he has a second gen copy of this. And although they're still manipulated, they're still far better than the uh, third and fourth generations of these photos. And you could just look at some of them and you go, well, I'm looking at the photo right now. It looks nothing like what he's got. And you know why? His is the second gen. That which means it's going to be a lot more detail. Although they've been manipulated and obfuscated, not so much. Okay. So again, big thanks to these uh, gentlemen. Nothing but great respect. So we can check it out here. Again, you can check out all of these uh, Apollo missions. And you can see right here, this, this photo here, which is a good high-res photo as well as this one here. Like, All right, now when you go down here, you can see Apollo 10 Snoopy lunar lander may have been found in space. Now you guys may say, Snoopy, what, what is that all about? If you're not familiar with this, you can read right here, Apollo 11 was the first mission to land people on the lunar surface, but Apollo relied on a lot of predecessor missions to lay the groundwork for the successful mission to the moon. One of them was Apollo 10, the fourth crewed mission in the Apollo program. Apollo 10 was the almost complete mission that included everything that Apollo 11 had except for the actual landing on the moon. It was a dress rehearsal and was the second Apollo mission to orbit the moon. It even had an Apollo lunar module that was flown to within 15 kilometers of the lunar surface, but that module never landed and eventually after it rendezvoused with the command module, 
and the crew disembarked. It was sent into orbit around the sun. So what they do is they just eject it around the sun and would just orbit around it. And what they did was, uh, it says right here, they went on to try to find it. Um, and they believe that they did, but they're not 100 percent sure. But you see the Apollo astronaut actually petting the stuffed animal Snoopy. And the reason why they named it Snoopy is because they wanted kids to take more interest in the mission. So they named it after the character. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's pretty cool. All right, so you get this page, but guys, check this photo out. Right here on the right-hand side, you can see these structures. Take out your magnifier, guys. This is going to help you big time. I'm not going to zoom in this second. Check this out. Right on the right-hand side of this photo, just tilt your head a little to the right, and you can see the structures laying right there in plain sight. Now, a lot of this brown stuff, that's all manipulation to cover up what's there. This is the reason why when I show you in Photoshop, you'll see the brown. Some objects are like a complete, you can see the shape of them, but half of them are brown, half of them are white. Why do you think that is? Because they're trying to hide these things and blend it into the surrounding lunar surface, right? So let me show you this up close. And of course, it's going to pixelate, but you guys get the idea. Check this out. Look at the lines to this thing. You can see the straight line running down this way, going like this, straight across, and so on and so forth. But take note of this piece right here, the design of this. It's almost symmetrical. It goes like this. There's a center piece, and it goes back off almost the same way the left one did. See that? Also, take note of this oval object with something sitting right on, on the top of it. See that? But also these objects in the back. Look at the way this thing does this right here. Look at line. Nice and rounded right here. Now, it's actually pixelated, so I'm going to back out a little bit in a second. But there's something right here. A little bit smoother, darker brown. But there's other objects in front of this as well. Check this out. Look at this. supposed to be this crater right here. But look at these two things protruding out right here. One, two. And look at this line coming down and circles around. See that? This is no this is no crater, guys. They're dressing these things up to look like craters, and they're making everything brown to blend it in. Look at the other objects in the back. Check them out. Okay? Now, this crater right here, supposed crater. This is what I mean right here. See this rounded piece right here? Well, like half, it's got like a curvature to it. It's half brown, half white. Back out. Why don't you guys use your magnifiers? This area right here is funky because... What I do in, in the other photo that I have of this, all you see is right from here over to the right. Check this out. Look at the way this thing does this. Goes up, has this little indention, and you'll see this a little bit better in a minute, kind of going down. But you see these like holes or designs to this? Look at the way this thing goes like this. Check this out. Goes up, over, straight across. Now, let me back out because it's pixelated. And look at it with your magnifiers and check that out. Pretty neat stuff. And guys, don't forget, just pause it any way you want. And check this stuff out for yourself. There's something right here that has an arch to it. Although they made that to look like some kind of weird uh, crater. But you can see things inside it. And you're going to see this a little bit better. Off in the back here. Check this out. There's an actual square right here. Okay, and I'm going to back out to show you that again in a minute. And you got one here. Going like this. Corner. Going like this. There's objects on top of these things. Look at the brown. But look at the white underneath it. This is one piece sitting right here. This one as well. Now let me back out. And you can see the shape of these things now pretty darn good. Look at the line with your magnifiers. Check that out. See that? Yeah. And guys, this is right in plain sight. Look at it. It's right there. Don't have to really do much to it. But I tried to do it anyway to try to bring it out on the other photo. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. Again, we've got this photo right here. This is from Ken Johnston's. This is from, like I said, this is like a second gen. And guys, you can just see what they've done. The, the exposure has been raised up so much for a reason. Right there in the back. Look at it again with your magnifiers right there. That same shape and everything is right in this photo right there. On the right-hand side, you can see the shape of that. I'm going to show you this much better in a second. Let's get into Photoshop so I can show you that. All right, here we are. This is the size of the photo that it was. Go ahead and bring it up for you guys. And you can see I did rotate it counterclockwise at 39 degrees. You can see that. Let's zoom in. Check this out. Look at the line sitting right here. That center piece. Like I said, it's kind of symmetrical. These two pieces going up like this. Middle piece in the, right here. Coming back down. It's like it's almost symmetrical. That is by design. Nature does not do that. Now, I, if you go right here to the burn tool, all you got to do is hit that 
and go up to the top and hit your midtones. Midtones will likely bring out any, anything that has a darker signature will be popped out, right? Let me just back up a little bit. Right here. Now I'm going to just go on the, down the line here. Now what I did was I just darkened it up a little bit. Brought, and you can see it's starting to see these things a little bit better. Although it is completely saturated now from trying to make it darker. Just desaturate a little bit. And again, notice these objects here on the left-hand side. You're only seeing the very front of them now. But check them out. Okay. You can start to see these other objects here in the front. Right there. Almost looks like a big pipe sticking out. See this right here? Check this out. This piece right here. You see it literally coming out. With a round circle. You see that? Anyway, check this stuff out, guys. Look at the shape now of these objects going like this. Okay? And you can see these other pieces right there. Look at the detail of that right there. That's that's pretty funky right there. That's cool. Again, nothing goes like this. Has a separation right here in the middle. Comes back out. Look at the way these things do this. Look at it. Almost has like a little hump there and there. Comes out like this. Goes back out like this. Nothing's going to do that in nature. There's no way. It's not going to happen, guys. Let me back up just a little bit. You guys can use your magnifiers. I know a lot of you guys are on your tablets and phones. But a lot of you guys are on your PCs, so I don't want to have it too zoomed in because then it looks absolutely like crap. All right. Here's those other objects on the left-hand side. Right here. Check that out. Look at the way this object comes up. This is what I was talking about when I showed you the outer edge of this. Kind of goes up like this. There's like an indention right there. It comes right like that and goes back down. Now, take note of what looks like these little dots. I call them portholes. And you got these little sections here. Could be anything. But check this out. Look at the texture up here. How this has changed. See this? Right here. Look at the way that thing does that. I mean, what? Look at that. What does that in nature? This object, too, right here. And you can see right here where I had this other object. Right here. Or objects, I should say. Piece right here. Let's go back a couple of steps. And you can see right here, you can see the, the actual shape of it. Problem is, actually, this goes like this. I can see this now. It actually has this little dot, almost like this might be actually round here at the end. But anyway, you can see the brown where they just try to blend this in. This is brown. The rest of this is white. So we do, what we did is we brought that up a little bit yeah, and enhanced it a little bit more. And the reason why I did that, check, check out those pieces right there. Okay, each of them look like these ovals. See this? I don't know it was a little small, but you get the idea. There's something in here. Look at this. It has this weird arch type thing. See this right here? I'm not sure if this is jumbled up or what it is, but check this out. Look at the shape of this. Has a circle. Another circle. You guys see that? Right there? Check that out. Um, another object right here. Looks like it's going like this. Going like this. Going around. And you've got this area right here. Coming out. It almost looks like it's like this oval shape inside. Three-quarter oval shape right in there. Seriously, guys. I mean, these, you could just tell some of these things are not lunar surface, man. It, it's, and you can see they're inside these craters. And, of course, not all of them are craters, but you get the idea. These objects are there. Now, keep in mind, these things, at times, they weren't more than up to nine miles above the surface. There's objects right here. Now, you can see these are supposedly craters. But check out what looks like something inside these craters. See this? I'm not sure if they're structures or it's just basically the, the detail of said. I don't think that it is. Something right here. But again, this is as soon as you start getting to right around this area right here. This all in this down in the bottom here. Complete trashed. And they did that for a reason. I mean, NASA would never hide anything from us, would they? All right, let's make this black and white. And then we're going to blur it up a little bit. Okay. There you go, guys. Tell me what you think. There you go. Objects right here. In this middle here. 
up at the top. And basically this whole area right here on the right hand side, like I said, just this area, this, this little section right here alone, that tells me that's intelligently made, point blank. Doesn't get any easier, guys. And again, we can look at this other photo right here. And again, check it on your right-hand side. Just tilt your head a little to the right. Get your magnifiers out. There you go. It's right there in front of your face. Right there. There it is. That's too symmetrical for me, guys. And this nice square right here. All these other structures in the background. The other photo, you couldn't see it too well, but you got these two protruding objects right here. One, two. And you see a line of something right there. Here's that piece that goes up and then down like this. And they try to put something over it or do something with that. Or it's just another object on top of it. But either way you look at it, there's something there that don't belong there. And it's not a crater. Right here, you got that arch as well as these pieces here. Here's those other items right here in that uh, other crater. I'm just going to back out. And as always, you guys would get all of these links. Just look for them in the bottom. You guys know you get them all. I want you guys to investigate this stuff for yourself. But clearly, it's right there, and it's right in this photo. All right, guys, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. Um, guys, what are we seeing here? I know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing what looks like structures, things that are clearly not, you know, natural on the moon. And it is anomalous because it's something that stands out from its surroundings. And that's what anomalous means. There you go. But anyway, guys, please like and share this video. People need to see this stuff. It's blatant right there in your face, man. Um, and guys, by the way, I got some more crazy Mars stuff coming up. You guys are going to want to stay tuned for this. These guys have been finding more and more of it. And even my buddy Nev has found something else. It's almost like bam, right in front of your face. If you haven't already seen it, uh, it's crazy. And you guys are going to see more of that. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.